You know, uh, just um, just on that note, um, with phantom keywords, um, that's a, a great point. Uh, a lot of people um, think that they, you know, they need to target keywords that have a a search volume of a minimum search volume of a hundred, and you really are, um, you know, overlook. Especially if your site has little to no authority, it, it's a new site, it's a new blog. Um, as Dan says, you have a great opportunity here to to, and you can quickly rack up your traffic by ranking for these phantom keywords, and they're, they're, they're super low competitive because no one is targeting them because a lot of people say, well, there's no traffic to those keywords. But the thing is, if you're ranking for a hundred keywords um, that are all to do with, let's say, for example, paint, and and that gets you only a little traffic, um, you still have a lot of content on paint. And that's how you start to build your topical authority so that when you do um, put out a pillar piece on, on paint, you have some authority behind that. You know, you are the website that talks about paint, about all, all things paint, you know. So mm -hmm. um, even phantom keywords, um, especially phantom keywords, um, they, they, they should be part of your campaign, especially in the early stages. Uh, mm -hmm. Because, you know, and you have, if you target enough of them, and as Dan said, if you cluster them, that's even better. You, you can start to get good traffic um just from those um yeah. and yeah yeah and the thing about phantom keyword is um they don't they don't get a fit as much on zero click you know so the the, you, the people, you, when you guys do organic marketing you have to note that the, the percentage of zero click nowadays get to 40 percent and majority of the the search that you have um, particularly on sport let's say premier league you you follow football you you, you search like premier league and um and the search is so high but majority of them are zero click. I think just I, Google show me the result page on the top right already. So I typically will not click on anything. So there are some yep. keywords that have zero click percentage are extremely high. You don't want to right. do right. organic marketing on that. But then most of the most of the phantom keywords are what people are actually looking for actual content, you know, mm. uh, inside. So it's it's not so much of a zero click, and also there's a, because there's very less competition on it. Um, you, you won't have to compete so much with people putting snippet, uh, feature snippets, and, and people also ask kind of things. And you can just actually compete on, on that end to, to show the kind of content that actually answer directly on the keyword itself. So yeah. a little bit of, on that. I think you mentioned also something about topical authority and, and that. And, and on that note, I think that would be a very good topic we should cover in yeah. our next series of webinar. Um, not on this one because we have to dig deep on, on Qt Planner a little bit. But I think a lot of people are requesting how they can build um, topical authority, how they can dissect down, you know, how do I build pillar page? How do I write that long piece of pillar page? And then how do I build um, other, you know, cluster or subtopic and uh, sub pages uh, yeah. and content around them and internal linking them. So those are the things that we should definitely designated um, a webinar for that. As well. Definitely. I mean, they, they have the perfect tool here to to actually um, go through the process of building a topical authority. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, and, and, you know, that that's how the game is played now. You, you can rank for a lot of things without any backlinks if you have enough authority uh, and your content is relevant. Um, so. So, yeah, we'll definitely do that. I, I have seen some questions about topical authority. We keep uh, circling back to that, but definitely we'll do something. Just to finish off on the on the data source, you, you mentioned something interesting that about, you know, whether the, 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 the data coming from Google is is legit or not. And there's a lot of there's a lot of theories and they have been around for a long time, for many years where people say, well, you know, Google, they're not telling us the truth and so on. Uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, uh, you know, the, the, the Google have little to gain from, from distorting the data. And you could say they inflate the numbers. But the thing is, if they inflate the numbers, they're going to, they're going to inflate them across the board because you don't get a billion keywords and then start inflating only some. And again, the computational cost will be tremendous, not to mention the, the amount of time. So the easiest thing to do would be to increase everything by, let's say, 5%, which means if you're still looking for keywords that are, have a, a you know higher search volume in in a group then it, it works out just the same it doesn't matter if you're looking at the real search volume or if everything is inflated by 10 percent or or five percent because it's still the same graph it's still the same yeah. chart um so as dan said at the end of the day we're all trying to rank, rank in google let's face it they have the lion shirt of the web and they have had for a long time and we're getting the data from google um you know, yeah. uh, regardless of anything else, that should be the first step. It's a no-brainer to me. If you're trying to yeah. get ranking Google, just just get the data from Google. And well, the, 
Mm -hmm. I, I want to note here too is that um, I think you, uh, I think people really have to 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 understand the concept zero click. It's very important. Is mm. is is zero click really taking about forty percent of the web traffic? So when when you do SEO, you realize that oh, how come this keyword have this much search volume, but how come I don't get the traffic when I rank for number one? Well, yeah. because some of the time the kind of the the, the search query that you you rank for are the kind of queries that people just not click on so it's called non-zero click uh queries right so it's, it's one of those things that you really need to be careful when when yeah. you do seo as well um yeah so please go on excellent excellent uh, to be honest that that's a, a new uh, that's a webinar all of its own um 